Assalamu alaikum. Today in this lecture we will download Visual Studio Code for our project and Git. Here we have Mac, Linux and Windows version. Click this Windows button and download Visual Studio Code. After downloading let's start installation. This is Visual Studio Code. Click this open folder button and select the Laravel folder. Now go to GitHub, sign in your GitHub account and create a new repository. Write your repository name here learning laravel git is a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development we will not initialize readme file because we already have in our folder after setting up click this create repository button it is designed for coordinating work among programmers but it can be used to track changes in any set of files this is our repository and here is the method of initializing for git we need git bash so we will download git download git here is the link choose your installer and after downloading it, we will install its installation. Follow these steps. Real life projects generally have multiple developers working in parallel. So a version control system like Git is needed to ensure there are no code conflicts between the developers. The requirements in such projects change often. Version control system allows developers to revert and go back to an older version of the code. Sometimes several projects which are being run in parallel involve the same code base. In such a case, the concept of branching in Git is very important. After installation of Git, press Windows R, open terminal. Go to project directory in WAM folder. And here in Visual Studio Code, you can see that we already have readme.md file. Now it's time to initialize our project. So Git initialize. And then we will add all of our files git add dot and now commit so git commit first commit and copy this line and paste it in terminal and copy this line and paste it in terminal it will ask your credentials Login. We have successfully created our repository. Here we have. We have successfully created our repository. And here are the files. Here you can see that this is the readme.md file. We can edit this file from here. Edit this file. But this is not good practice. We 
write your code whatever you want and then press commit changes button. The best way is to go to your folder and edit this file from here and we will upload all of the changes at once. Now go to view and then extensions. We can also check these extensions from this button. Download these extensions. These are very good for Laravel. You can download as many extensions as you like. Please remember more than one extension of same type may conflict. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.